All right, I'm gonna start adding these effects and stuff like that now, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm live again. This is a whole nother video. This is a whole nother video. This is at, um, this is, this video is about, um, sullying hip hop education. Now, you know, I'm not against, um, explicit hip hop. I believe there's a venue for everything. So I'm not against, uh, you know, sexually explicit hip hop or, you know, gangster hip hop, but I'm, I'm against when it's targeted at, you know, the youth. And it's come to my attention within the past week or two weeks, maybe I've recently found out about it. It's come to my attention that Dirty Digits, um, uh, the head teacher at Scratch DJ Academy, Dirty Digits has a tutorial online called the Tug Job Scratch. And I have a problem with that because if you're teaching children um, at Scratch DJ Academy and then you're using an adult content thing like that called, and naming a Scratch Tug Job Scratch, you know, to me, that's, uh, that's, totally, that's totally foul. So this is a message, this is a lecture about dirty digits using um, the word Tug Job to describe a Scratch. You know, now if you're scratching and you have your own album and it's like, you know, D Styles kind of thing where you're scratching real, you know, dark stuff and you're talking about dark concepts, that's one thing. I'm not against that. But if you're holding classes and, you know, rest in peace to Jam Master J, right? Because that was his school and he was a black man that was assassinated, right? I'm the only black male that has a, a international DJ school right now, but, uh, you know, Jammaster J had his school and he was assassinated, right? So rest in peace, Jammaster J, and I'm sure Jammaster J wouldn't be cool with the tug drop scratch, you know, because that's just some some weirdo stuff. So this is to, to Dirty Digits. I'm going to go um, and show that. So yeah, as far as, uh, you know, naming scratches, so the title of this video is about uh, naming scratches pornographic things. Like let's say you come up with some new scratch, yeah, if you're with your homies and you're drinking beer, um, you know, just, you know, that's one thing to name a scratch, you know, some crazy name, um, even though given that you're posting stuff online and kids might see it, that's one thing. But I'm coming at Dirty Digits for being at a school and naming naming the scratch, the tug drop scratch at his school. So let's, I'm going to, we're going to flip around. All right. And we're going to look at it. All right. So let's, let's flip around. All right, so I'm gonna type dirty digits. So I'm gonna type dirty digits. All right, and I'm gonna type, let's see, dirty digits. All right, and I'm gonna type uh, scratch. DJ. Academy. And I've met Dirty Digits before. He seems like a cool guy, nice guy. Uh, they've never invited me to Scratch DJ Academy, even though they teach, he teaches TTM there. But uh, he's never invited me to speak. What's up? What's up with that? Sounds like some uh, some weird you know, diaspora cronyism. Like I've mentioned in other lectures. All right. So now let's see. So we see Dan uh, Dirty Divots Chavez is Academy Director at Scratch DJ Academy NYC as well as the director of the Academy's turntablism program, providing scratching curriculum for the school's five locations nationwide, including LA, Chicago, Atlanta, and Miami. But Atlanta is no longer in existence. I think a bunch of them are, are no longer in existence. And they're also renting out half of their place to another business now in New York. Um, but yeah, so you see Dirty Digits, Boomerang Scratch, Watch and Learn, right? Swing Flare, Autobahn Scratch, right? Then we got the Tug Job Scratch. And this is my problem. I just recently saw this. I'm like, what? You're telling me that this guy is the director of a, of a school that teaches children and he is um, coming out with a scratch called the Tug Job Scratch um, th through the same facility. It'd be different if it was like his own personal page and, you know, he's got a group and it's, you know, Dirty Digits featuring, featuring Necro or something. That's different, you know, because then it's like, hey, that's a different venue. It's not your school. But through his school, they're promoting, they're sullying hip hop. You know, they're selling hip hop by naming stuff, stuff like this. Like, why would you name, you know, a scratch the tug drop scratch? So I'm going to actually click on this 
and see what he has to say. All right, so let's see. I'm infected with hip So I don't know who named this scratch. I don't know if he named it. I don't know who uh, named the scratch. All right, but let me see. All right, let me, let me skip ahead. Who are you talking? Dirty Jizzes hanging out. Hey, cat. Once again, it's your buddy DJ Dirty Jizzes hanging out once again in Scratch DJ Academy in New York City. And we're here to bring you another scratch tutorial. Uh, this scratch is a record control technique. And this scratch is called the tug job. So uh, check it out. I'm going to show you how this thing kind of breaks down. So what I want to do first. I'm going to run that back. So this is this is a, 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 um, a black man's school that was assassinated. And now there's a Euro diaspora director and he's dropping scratches called tug drop scratches, you know, selling hip hop. And this also connects to what I was showing before too with Ebro. Uh, he made this really nasty song on Hot 97 dissing um, L.O. Cool J. And it was just really, really nasty and really, really bad, you know? All right. Let's see. I'm going to play this. What I want to do first is I'm going to get on top of my sample. Just like I would originally do anything, I'm going to get to the very top. To make this scratch stand out, and really what this scratch is about, is I need to lead myself in a little bit. So I'm going to be at the very beginning, but I'm going to go just a little bit in so I can start with a nice backwards motion. This is really designed about pulling and pushing the record to get extra sounds added to the repertoire that we have. So now that I'm in, I'm going to pull the record back and then release it forward. So I'm going to have this small backwards before I go forward. Just like that. Let's do this a couple more times to get familiar with the technique. So it's really all about setting this thing up. Top of the sample, lead in. Now we're set up to do the scratch. Pull the record backward before we go forward. And then push the record forward before we go back. So one more time. I'm going to lead in. Now I'm set up. I'm going to do the backwards motion and pause and then do the forwards motion. That's step one. And step two is I come back. So all together, without the fader. We can get some extra sounds into everything else that we're doing. So this scratch is traditionally done with a two-click flare, but you can do anything and kind of make a technique your own. But I'm going to demonstrate this with the two. So I'm going to type tug job scratch to see, like, who invented this. Like, I never heard of this. All right, so I'm going to type, let's see, tug. I even hate typing this word in on my... I don't want this in my Google history. Like, I'm gonna have to delete this from my history. So, tug job scratch. It's like, who the hell invented this? Did he invent this? Like, was this out years ago? Right? Okay, so it's a whippet. People call it whippets, but then they also call it a tug drop. So, uh, this is, let's see. Is this Emma Short T also doing it? No. Nope. So this isn't him doing it. So yeah, so it's a scratch that already existed. Let's see, that's 2019. So we don't know if it existed because this is 2016. So I'm looking for one that's before 2016. All right, so let me see. Is there something before 2016? I'm not seeing anything. It looks like he invented it. I mean, at least the name. Yeah, let's see, 2008, okay, all right, maybe it's this person who's been in 2008. All right, so this is Bob Briscoe Beats, all right. But, you know, there's an alternate name for the scratch, you know, and I just think it's not the right place and right venue for uh, a director of a educational facility that teaches children to be uh, um, putting out tutorials about the tug job scratch because there's hundreds of scratches out there, thousands of scratches. So why choose something like that? It just seems like it's kind of, uh, you know, shooting hip hop in the foot, right? Because because we're trying to get um, accepted by schools and, and colleges and things like that, you know. And uh, you know, this I think this is counterproductive to that. When we when if you had a, a director of a of a teaching program that's naming something uh, that means. Uh, basically a hand job you know it's just like yo that's that's totally whack that's very very whack to be 
uh, introducing that to kids because you know, I was at a uh, orientation that Rolly Roll was giving. It was a really cool orientation. Shout out to Rolly Roll. It was a Scratch Academy orientation, and they were, you know, they had like prospective uh, students there. Like it was more of like a, a demo promo thing for kids that were interested in maybe uh, it was like a meet and greet where kids that would maybe maybe be into you know uh, signing up, you know. And there was kids of all ages, you know. There was actual you know. 10 year olds there to, you know, people that were 40 that wanted to learn, you know? So it's like, it, even if it's a one room schoolhouse scenario, you still have to bring things to the lowest common denominator as far as morality. And if you're dealing with kids, you, you can't be naming, you can't be doing uh, tutorials, you know, with uh, Scratch Academy's name, you know, with, you know, things that are bad for kids, you know, that's sullying it unless you want Scratch Academy to be, to be just for adults. All right, so that's all I had to say in that. That uh, you know, to me, that's uh, that's nasty to to have a, a scratch with that name uh, being um, targeted at children. All right, peace. I'm out.